Investigators are still searching for answers surrounding a fire that destroyed a historic church and parish in northeast Missouri last month. WGEN's Claire Edlin traveled to Williamstown, Missouri today. So Claire, where does that investigation stand now? Daniel and Raja, experts who specialize in arson investigation, came all the way from St. Louis today in search of evidence. They say they hope their findings will get them answers on who caused the blaze. Where did these stairs lead to? These, these stairs led into the, uh, the actual church building that uh, we would have um, had worship services. Tim Clapp, a deacon at Providence Baptist Church, stands in the remains of what once was. Uh, this was our meeting hall. A place of worship, weddings, and finding faith. Now in rubbles. In, in the... Uh, rubble, we can still see the baptismal where we would baptize folks. Now, the pieces here are what federal investigators are counting on for answers. They collected numerous samples to send to the ATF forensic laboratory. Sharon Hamm with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives says so far all evidence has confirmed their suspicions. Is there any reason to believe why it, it could have been arson? We brought uh, a celerant detection canine uh, from St. Louis, and that dog alerted to the presence of uh, a seller being used in the fire. So obviously we would classify that as a, an arson investigation at that point. Meanwhile, down the road is the church's parsonage that was consumed by fire on the same night. And then once we learn how far they are, a quarter mile distance from each other, and that this is a church parsonage, um, that is not really identified as that. So someone would have to know most likely that this was church property. Lewis County Sheriff David Parrish says having a federal team on this case has been a huge help in getting them one step closer to their answer. But they need your help too. If you have some information that you might be thinking that's not going to matter, it might. Parrish says if you have a tip on a lead, give the sheriffs, the ATF, or your local police department a call. Daniel? Thank you, Claire. The ATF is offering a $5,000 reward to anyone who can get them a lead to an arrest.